and we're live hey everybody and welcome today we're going to continue with our scene with our bar scene and this is uh, basically where we stopped in the last stream the exterior we built the frame for it we made some of the elements for the interior like the chairs uh with i think we did a bit uh of the leg work for things that we want to model for this uh, stream so now we'll just continue and we have actually even started working a bit on the small chairs or the low chairs for our uh, cafe so i actually did go ahead and finish that chair and that was finished on one of the twitch streams well one of the testing twitch streams so yeah it's basically it looks like this very simple as you can see nothing too complicated so actually gonna go ahead and take this thing and export it out so we can actually use it in our cafe model there you go all right let me export this all right okay twitch exports and well actually instead of exporting it I'm just gonna do a save and import this entire scene let me just check the layers everything should be in the same layer yes it is that's cool then just open up the cafe scene again and import the chair scene that's gonna be much easier there we go let me just find it and I do apologize if my voice is a bit r rowdy uh, I've had some trouble the last few days with my voice so yeah let me just go ahead with the low chair one check this thing go to default and import over here merge the file Use the merge file. Ah, crap! All right, so that was uh, that was a bad choice. All right, let's just redo this again. Don't save. I don't want to just lose that texture. There we go. There we go. Again, merge, merge the scene file, or merge. Just auto rename damn thing. There we go. All right. All right, just so I can see if everything is fine. Everything is fine over there. So I'll just take this thing, group it together as a low chair. I like me. I should probably even go ahead and group this thing. Not just as a group, but actually with the geometry. So let's go ahead and apply edit poly attach it with everything that's ah all right i have different textures to these so it's a different and hey, you know what it's fine <coughs> just gonna take this close the group and now i will need to make these into the right position so i just need to affect the pivot bring it down to zero like that there we go so now let's see if I go and pivot to pivot XYZ is fine ah but these guys don't have the pivot there we go someone there there we go now it's zero to zero so we can have one two and the third one. All right, rotate around. One over here, another one over here. All right, so those are fine. We will need to have some sort of a table for these. So let's deal with that because, well, we cannot just 
have the chairs without a proper table and if we have a proper table for these that's gonna kind of uh, fill up the entire space better so let's choose one let me see if there's anything in the discord channel for chairs or tables that is all right from everything that was pasted Well, better yet, let me just check something else. I want to see uh, this thing. This is basically the Matterport that we were we were looking at last uh, time for this space. So let's just zoom in and see what type of tables are these guys using. All right. So okay. So it's a wire table. Hmm. All right, let me check really quickly then. I'm gonna save this and open up a new scene. <clears throat> That's fine. Now for this one, from what I can see on these images, it looks like it's made out of triangles. These four, let's try a pyramid and see how this thing is going to work with a pyramid. There we go, goes up four. Oh, but instead of a four sided, I need to have a three sided pyramid. All right. So instead of doing it that way, let's just do it this way. I'm going to go with a three-pointed star all right let's see if this is gonna work or not if I bring this thing up yeah it could work now let's see if I go ahead and now turn on the snap. How's this thing gonna look like then? Hmm. Interesting. It's a different design, but kinda looks interesting. Actually, do like this a happy coincidence. Let's see if I can actually do this with a divided circle in the center. Select the middle part, choose this one, and just scale it inwards to let's say to maybe 70. Yeah, there we go. 70 should work. Do the same thing over here divide it, select all of these and 70 inwards. There we go. And hello to everybody that's saying hi in the chat. I do apologize if I don't see you right away. So these are fine. Let's just quickly add a rendering to this so I can actually see how this thing looks. Interesting. Well, the first thing I want to do probably here is uh, select the bottoms. And let's see what happens if we break it up. There we go. I don't have any more of those spikes like here because we're not trying to slay some vampires with stakes. We're just trying to have some nice endings over there. Pro probably something that would be useful. Right, another five percent or ten percent. 
There we go. So now it's in the inside. Let's do the same thing up here. Break up the top as well. So break. There we go. All right, again, break, move, and get back. All right, cool. This kind of actually looks fine. Let's just give it a one center weld to get some stability for this thing. So use a circle. The thickness is the same thing with the other ones. So just bring it up to here. Maybe a bit higher. There we go, like this. And now just increase the radius until it touches on the sides. And it looks like it's welded. There we go. Okay, kind of looks okay now. Kind of looks fine. And the only thing that I would probably do for this is make it so it has some sort of a leg piece over here. So let's just add in that thing. Well, let's just reuse some of the existing geometry over here. I'm gonna edit poly and there we go. Just use this thing, detach as a clone, make it a shell. All right, much smaller one that is 0 0.3. And let's go ahead and do some very, very slight tweaking of this thing. Uh, just I saw, okay, so that's why I didn't want to select that thing. I need to select the inner side, delete, cap this thing or collapse it. So now I can better control this entire form. Just move it. I'm gonna have to scale this thing so it kind of envelops the whole um, base here, which is kind of normal since it's supposed to encapsulate two of these bars. There we go, like this. Go in, select the bottom. And make it planar on the Z. Or not. Let me just really, really quickly check and see how these guys are made. Okay, so it doesn't have that thing. Alright, scratch that idea then. So just instead take these guys off and make them planar. Just select those two, delete make player on the Z oh. make player on the Z as well there we go so it kind of ends up how does it look though hmm honestly small detail and I even like it more when it's like this so I'm just gonna leave it like this for now all right Let me go ahead, check all of these edges, delete, check the bottom ones, there we go. Alright, bottom one over here as well. That one's done. Probably should have just did the same thing over here and copied it around, but 
since we copied it previously just gonna have to go ahead and do it now there we go all right delete those guys and the one on the bottom If I put a shell on this, a very small amount, 0.1, that's gonna give me some more thickness. It's gonna look like, yeah. Shell, again, 0.1, that's fine. And here, this one, I don't care. This can be the same thing, so let's give it a different color. Different color for this. And the same thing for this. All right, awesome. Now let's just go ahead and create one of our cylinders. And this is gonna be the top of the table. I will need to actually go ahead and rescale this thing to the right size once you actually have everything done. Fine. Make it so it's a bit thinner. It's so maybe like two centimeters. 18 sides is fine. We will use a turbo smooth to get the extra sides. So edit poly. Delete those two. Scale inwards once, twice, and just go ahead. Let me just try and do this. Uh, cap. Two on the corners. Rapid tool, geometry, no topology, quad connect. Okay, does not work that way. Whatever. I did not even expect it to work that way. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna select a border, control click on the edge, deselect two uh, opposing ones, and hit bridge. That's gonna give me a nice quadded geometry. So again, Deselect the two neighboring ones and hit bridge. We end up with a quad up and down extra geometry, turbo smooth. And we get a very, very nice geometry for our table. And a very, very simple table already done. Let's import this back into our scene and see how it's going to look like. First of all, I'm just gonna save this. <clears throat> My throat is not giving me any good signs today. All right, so T, table one. There we go. All right, now I'm back to our cafe scene and re-import our table that we just created. Merge the file. All right, like I said, we will need to go ahead and actually scale this thing right. So let me just do this first. I'm gonna turn off the shell, attach both of these together. Now reapply the shell. On the 0.1, that's fine. Table is fine. Okay. And table legs. Table joint. Table top. Alright, just so I can actually test it out. Let me take one of these chairs. I already know. Kind of looks like this thing is the right size. Is it though? Let me just check. So if you put it like this, 
like a glove. I'm not gonna put anything uh, like a tablecloth because this is what I was following. So this is a cafe table, so yeah. I was trying to make something similar to this. Okay, now let's put all of these back one. Well, you are gonna get back over to where Oh. oh no, I just pressed control Z. Sheesh. <sighs> Alright. Well, there we go. At least I know for a fact that the curse continues. Every stream, it has to crash at least once. <sighs> Yep, it's the stupidest uh, reason for crashing. It's when you import something and you just go control Z to return, uh, just go back or redo your last uh, action and it just crashes because it doesn't know what to do. And whenever Max is confused, doesn't know what to do, it just crashes. So yeah, lucky for us, that's not a problem. Because the only thing that we did is just uh, import the scene with the table. So let's open up our scene. There we go. Everything's fine. We know for a fact that our table size is fine. So I'm just going to merge it over here. Oh yeah. I'm going to have to redo the shelf thing and the attaching thing. So there we go. Attach. Attach. Uh, Table legs. How can I know my modeling is good to start working with? Easy! Whenever you start working on something and a client asks you to do something and you provide something and the client is happy, that's when you know your stuff is good. Your friend recommended you. He said that you're a 3ds Max expert or something. Well, I'm definitely a something. Table joint. Table top. Hmm. I don't know if that was, uh, let me just see, uh, uh, what was it called, Certif certification, yeah, I, it's not called uh, 3ds Max Expert, it's called a, yeah, professional, there you go, certified, back in 2014, but it's the same thing. It means I like to play around with Max. So table, boom. All right, pivot. There we go. Oops, Daisy. Don't we get it? Actually, you know what? Yeah, that's, that's okay. Let's put it in the right position. Now, put this thing over here. Copy, take this chair. Actually, I just not make any copies, but instead take the actual geometry. And once we are done with placing them, I can go ahead and do something to it. Guys, go in like 180. 
I'm not sure if it's possible to take the exam online because the way that it's given, uh, you need to be in, in, into an, an ATC and that's where you get the actual uh, test timed and everything. And you're supervised while you're taking it, so yeah. All right, so table com combo. There we go. Now let's go ahead and do one over here. One more over here. Delete uh, the placeholders. All right, those are fine. Now let's just. Rotate this thing 45. Same one over here. Did I model this chair? Yes, I did. Everything you see here in this uh, stream, as well as all of my stream, have been modeled live on a stream. So, yeah. Well, the music just kind of flared up. Let me just do this uh, kind of noise the crap out of me seeing this uh, just gray color. So I'm gonna open this thing. Let's hit it up with the same, uh, I don't wanna have the same wood. Or for now, just let's see how it's gonna look. UV map, uh, cylindrical. With the caps. All right, scale inwards. better all right close this and close this all right I'm going to save this first. What do you think about Corona? Is it taking number one? Mm, I'm, I would say that Corona is a really good choice. And if you're a Corona user, more power to you. I'm not, so I can't really say because my opinion would be very biased. Why don't we all have a 3D Max Challenge thing like you say, make it a certain topic? Uh, that's not a bad idea. I can, uh, it's, not a, it's not a bit much. It would be something interesting. All right, let's just. Yeah, that's not gonna stay there. All right. Over there, that's fine. There you go. So the, that placeholder over here is fine. We got one. So let's see how many do we need. We need two more. One is gonna get aligned over here. The one is gonna get aligned over here. There we go. Again, like I said, I want to keep this thing uh, 3D art design 19. Uh, I didn't say no. All I said is that's an interesting idea. So let's make one up here for the outside. Oh no, God, God damn it. 
<sighs> All right, crash number two on a just a simple copy operation. Got that. Ah, snap, I forgot to get any drinks for today. Oh well. Yeah, well, you see, if I had a crash meter, it would have burned up a long time ago. Be right back in a sec. I just forgot that I kind of forgot one of the lights and so I just noticed that the video was a bit dark on the one side so just had to go in and all right let's just add in how many copies do I need I need three more copies for this thing don't you dare crash me again there you go so pivot to pivot why is what the <sighs> Alright, so the crash kind of screwed up the pivot on this thing. Just kind of sucks, but whatever. I'll just get everything in here and we'll just rise up everything to the right uh, height. There we go. There we go. And honestly, though, I think you can squeeze in a couple of more in here. done I want to address something else now well, I'm gonna have to do something about this place as well though so let's just take this thing and break it up one more time to deal with something with, about that seat the arrangements there we go all right open up this thing delete that guy all right delete that I'm actually gonna leave this and I'm gonna put on a just one placeholder here just so I know I need to have some sort of a bigger seat or what I can do is probably do something similar to what we had in that uh, reference image as these guys have done to their place with their very open spaces they actually have uh, this thing built around it and on top of it they have some sort of a seating and they're doubling it down with some tables so let's do something like that then I actually like that idea it's gonna give me a lot more space and I won't have to do something like this so for now ah man don't wor don't even worry about it the chair uh, being done uh, that was done on my test stream on twitch so you can just check it up over there don't even worry about it 
Oh, shit. I'm saving on recovery. Let's go ahead and save it. Another version of this thing. sucks being old I'm starting to uh, get numb all over the place <sighs> all right for this one though now let's start off with the general idea as to how we want to make this thing if I'm looking at what I'm seeing over here this thing has something similar to this it has a box to go across up to here like this so let's round it up so it's going to go up 300 by 930 by 70 all right so what this is going to give me is the, the place where i'm actually going to get all of my seating in so let's just move this thing a bit to the front And I might actually go ahead and do a bit of tweaking on this one. I don't want to make it all the way up to there, so put it here maybe. It's going to be fine. And you know what? Since we won't be using these guys, I can just delete them for now. And I'm even going to delete uh, these two holes they're supposed to be for the windows because now we're gonna have them encapsulated up in this place so I'm just gonna uh, delete those and move these guys all the way up to here as a wall there we go so now what I want to do over here is well first of all this is probably going to get removed, this whole thing. And this will have to move up on this side and maybe then even move this thing over here like this because I will need to put in something over here. So we're going to have to see how we're going to work with this and whether or not we're gonna have this thing span all the way across. Maybe even set one of these guys over here. Set one over here. Yeah, that's gonna work. All right, so now, inset this thing and bridge it together. This is gonna give us that base that we can actually start working from. Uh, from what I can see over here, up on the roof here, it doesn't go extend all the way up. There is some space, so let's uh, do the same thing over on our side as well. So for that, I'm just gonna go ahead, add in one extra edge to over here and snap that edge over to this height like that so that's going to give me the ability to uh, select both of these and just bridge together like that awesome now snap this thing over to the end like that cool all right so here, I'm going to go ahead and actually, I'm going to use the edges for this thing. I probably don't want it to go all the way back to here. It's going to look weird. So I'm going to snap this thing 
on the Y and snap it maybe to about here to this edge like that and this will give me the ability to go in here select these guys and pull them over to here also let's just go in and select these then up and snap up in there there we go so now this storage room or whatever it is it can, still can be used for something there we go all right so the thing that i actually do like about uh this design of this uh cafe that i'm looking at is the corners here are actually thick and they have this metal and they got this wood uh, design so let's go ahead and add that thing as well it's gonna give us more of a interesting design for it now for this one i think we had 70 centimeters for the actual nope all right so let's go with 70 by 70 by 70 and just snap it and see how this thing looks like yeah i was right so it's about 70. All right, so let's go ahead and select our interior here and snap it to over here which means that this now corner here is going to be 70 centimeters yeah it's probably because it's in between two columns or maybe it's the barrier or the the corners the corner column or whatever Whatever the case, it's kind of looking really nice, giving it that interesting look. So there we go. All right. Now, load bearing, that's it. That's the one. But in our case, it's not going to be a load-bearing uh, side because, well, it's not going all the way up. But it does look interesting. Uh, let's just see how this thing is going to look like this then. If it does go all the way up like this. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hello, Dennis, are you using Illumion? No, I'm not. That was a quick question. Why is this thing not snapping over here? You know what? I'm just going to leave it like this and then use uh, Edit Poly. placeholder for now it's fine I'm just gonna get go in here just one connect so no this thing can get separated in the middle all right uh, row ones delete and use this shell to give me a very small amount there we go that's fine Okay. Now what I want to do is I do want to go in and add that bit of detail on the corners before I actually go in and start creating stuff for the seating arrangement. And also I can just use this thing as a base as to how high this thing is supposed to be. The, the base though not the wall so put it to about here and with the help of the actual seating it's going to get the required height seat all right so save this now 
let me go in and select and this edge like this or these two so detach as a clone that's fine select the what did I, how did i just select all right snap this thing up on the z so we have it flat over there snap it over here and looking at this thing i can see it has some horizontal ones but they're all kind of angled so let's go in and do that let's do do that the way that i'm going to do it is i'm going to go in and actually cut this thing with the slice plane and just rotate this thing around to i don't know 45 and here's the thing uh, i don't want this thing to cut through both sides or actually do i want that thing because when i'm looking at this thing it kind of does look like it does have this thing to continue with the cut but let's just see one other thing before i actually go in and start cutting i'm just going to limit my cut to this thing so with uh this thing selected now let's see slice plane nah that's fine i'm just gonna go like this i don't want to use the modifier slash to cut this so i'm gonna put one cut in here of course this thing is not gonna work now because why would everything work just fine when i have to go ahead and reset the x form for this because i just have to and now it should work all right slice plane there we go 45 so cut one slice two slices rotate to another 90 degrees pull it down to maybe something like this all right that's fine so now i just want to remove some of these edges that i don't really need so the ones on this side i don't like so I'm remove those And let's add in some of uh, these uh, on this side that are going to go the other way around. So again, slice plane. There we go. So 45. One cut over here. One cut over here. And the rest we can actually add in manually. All right, so. Now let me remove some of these extra edges we just added. I don't like these two. Cool. No, 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 I'm just using the slices as a guide. Because now I can just select all of these individual uh, edges. Like, if it will allow me like this this one this one everything that's going horizontal and everything that's going vertical oh there we go like this so all of these uh create shape from selection linear ones we call this uh vertical vertical lines oh okay now select all of these guys
now to create the shape from this selection. There we go. So what happens here is I just put this thing on like this. Because if I take a look at my edges over here, you can see that it's a bit different. So I want to have this thing as a rectangular design and it's going to be, let's see, two by two everywhere. That's actually fine over there. Let's do the same thing over here for this one. Two by two. All right, cool. All right, awesome. Now, what I want to do uh, with this is that once I have the actual uh, base frame, I see that there is another set of cuts in here that we can use. And the great thing about this is that once we have the original geometry, which is still underneath here, I can isolate this thing. And now, for example, if I want to get, well, first I want to save. I'm going to put a new edit poly, so whatever I do to it doesn't break up the original. So edit poly. I can just select these two and go in connect. And maybe try and to get some like six across over here. And yeah, why not just create a shape out of this as a linear same thing there we go i want to have similar shapes uh, over here so let's try to connect this oh not it's gonna work this way because we got three selection now so let's just connect it like this one two or better yet instead of doing it just that i'm just gonna do this i'm gonna create one shape out of this select it you know for a fact that this thing is the same uh, thing with the previous ones so just hold down shift and move it upwards but before I do that though I want to have these ones in the middle be smaller ones so I'm just gonna make them one by one there we go it's still inside the column hold down shift drag them upwards to, I don't know, five centimeters or roughly like this. And let's say we want to use like 20 copies. All right, I want to have this thing all the way up. Maybe something like this. Okay, isolate, edit poly and attach all of these together. And de isolate. Let's give it a bit of a dark color. Oh, I have to make the base a lot lighter then so I can see what the hell is going on. There we go. That's cool. Do the same thing over here, one by one. color so now select everything I don't want that just want this yep there we go awesome that's cool that's all metal metal now what we have left over here is something that I can just do this. I can select this guy. I can detach as a clone again. All right, awesome. Now, for this one, center to object, pull it back in to position. There we go, like this. Okay, not quite. 
Now, what I'm trying to do is make this thing uh, with the actual boards. So for that, what I need to do is go in here, put in some, oh, wait a second. All right, let's get rid of some of these edges or some of these vertices that are not needed. If you're not a corner vertice, you're getting to delete it. There we go. This thing is fine. Now connect. How many do I need? One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's fine about six so now a chamfer between them of one let's try with an open chamfer three four yeah that's good good enough show of one that's fine and a really quick chamfer uh, help with the edges of a 0 0.1 there we go over there and it would probably be a better idea if now let's go in and remove some of these guys so go go ahead remove those And uh, not quite, uh, because these ones, as I'm following along, they are exactly to the same exact uh, shape of this thing. If I made a uh, floor generator, it would have been a different uh, problem. So the only thing that I have to do with this, do the same thing, is over here. So select this guy, detach as a clone, and the other one is actually gonna be a bit different so let's go connect now it's gonna be one two three four all right four is fine go again chamfer of one with an open chamfer then hit it up with a shell and a chamfer of a 0 0.1 and bring it back cool all right we got that thing done now the only thing that I'm missing is the mesh and what's left and the mesh is something like this so it's like a wire so let's just go ahead and create that really quickly so for this one i'm gonna need that one there and this one over here so both of these will need to be the mesh all right no problem detach as a clone Again, yeah, let's work on this piece. Hmm. Let me just try and do it this way then. Go plane, snap from there to there. Add it poly. Oh. What the? There we go. So it probably now snap it all the way down over here. Now connect, increase the number to like 25 and connect across. Make sure it's roughly about the same size. Even if we're only about 10, that's fine. Okay. Now, I want to get one more cut with the slice plane. There you go. Slice there. Let's 
slice over there. Okay, now, deselect all of these edges. Now let's deselect these guys as well. All right, like that. Now deselect that one, delete that one. And what's left is just uh, this piece. And for this, we can just hit it up with the lattice modifier, struts from edges, radius of 0 0.2. Sides, we can go ramp it up to eight. It's gonna give us a round number. Uh, there we go. And cool. Right, delete the base. This lattice is fine and give it a darker color. And yeah, every time you actually do it with a lattice, just go ahead and convert this to a little poly so it stops giving me that Windows uh, noise. Right, we're happy with how that thing looks. I'm actually not even gonna put it over here because it's not gonna be really need it. So if I put it in here, that's fine. No problem whatsoever. Just delete that thing. We're happy with how it looks. All right, select the whole side over here, make it gray. Select uh, these two, just give them a more whitish gray there we go all right cool all right select everything that we just create okay save first because we already crashed twice we don't want to have a third crash and have to do this again so just go in select all the things that we just uh, created like this let's test it out missing this one all right, awesome. I just want to make a mirror on the Y as a copy. And the reason for that is just because I want to have it over here, not having to really, really bother as to how well this thing is made, but just, there we go. This is okay. I'm happy with how it looks. And just so I know what the hell is going on. Again, I'm gonna give this thing the wooden texture. UV map, box one. Cool. Now I know at least that's wood. Same thing over here, UV map, box. these UV map box not gonna change anything else leave it like that cool and very very similar to what we see here fine now for also for this one just so I know what the hell this thing is let's just give it a placeholder material let me open up my textures I think that I should have 
Okay. Texture for this thing. Let me just really quickly check it out. Was it this one though? Gray CO2. Mm, no. What's the name of this thing? I know for a fact that I made one. It's kind of annoying me now that I don't have it. Is it asphalt? No, it's not. <sighs> I remember last time before the stream, I actually made a texture for something like this. It was seamless and everything, but for some reason now it's gone. I think maybe it's gonna work for this one, just as a placeholder for now. Shell it, not a shell, but damn it, UV map it as a box. Hit it up with 100 by 100 by 100. And of course, this one is not seamless, damn it. All right, let me just use some of the things that I have pre made. I didn't want to use that one. Where is my. Really? No, not that one. Marble leather. Dirt. No, not the dirt. Carpet. Alright, this is annoying. So I'm gonna have to go and actually just use some of the textures that I already have, but I didn't want to go into my actual textures for this. So let me just do this. Give me a sec. Walls, walls, walls. There we go. Uh, is this thing gonna work? Hey, probably, yeah. It should work. Let's see if it's styleable. It's kind of greenish though. Kind of putting me off. I want something more. But it's is this thing called plaster? Hold on. If this, if it's gonna be plaster, I'm pretty sure that's. There we go. I even named it Plaster Seamless, damn it. There we go. Wait, what? Okay. Funny thing, you forget how it's called and then you cannot find it. Weird. All right, so now back to our thing that we made over here. I have everything with a darker color like this. So I know it's gonna be actual metal. So I gotta wanna select this one. There we go. Boom. All right, awesome. So we got this part uh, of the side made. We will need to decide what we want to put over here though. And we will need to decide what do we want to keep this thing with. We want to make this thing this the backside of the bar which would be normal or what sort of a bar we want and do we put a dj booth here the tables look too small all right hell god damn give me a sec that's an easy thing to fix just open it up open it up and just ask it to get bigger go like go be bigger Uh, I think you guys can put a Twitch stream related channel description on stream related. 
That just burned a hole in my head, but okay. All right, so I need to make everything 200% bigger. All right, that's fine. All right, so Discord. What about Discord? Streaming related, nothing has been added. Yeah, I'll deal with that thing later. All right, so now it's actually, yeah, you're right. Now it looks a lot better. These don't look right. All right, so let's just do it like this then. Instead of uh, going in and actually uh, scaling this thing one by one, let's just go in like this. I need six and two, eight, about 10 copies of this. So like 10 copies. It can be instances out of this one though. And just go in like this, uh-huh, like this, uh-huh. Ooh, snap, okay, hold on. For some reason, my pivots got screwed up again, which is kind of sucks, but whatever. I think that these are gonna be fine. No, they're not. Because why would they? thing over to there there we go Stop. <sighs> those are fine now, of course, this one is going to get screwed up. Because why would everything work without a problem? That would be so boring. All right, that's fine. The other ones are fine. We just need two more. And these are the two more. Select this. Snap over there. One over there. <laughs> One goes up, the other one goes down, whatever. Just put it in like this. Delete the one with the smaller table. Delete that one. That's okay, and well, actually, let me just check something. Nope. All right. Uh, the easiest way to actually move this thing around and make sure it's actually flat on the ground would be to isolate this, uh, get the pivots right, so it's actually uh, down on the zero axis, like this. And now I can just take this uh, silly select in place and just move it around wherever I want on the ground. It's not, never going to be a problem, but hey, why make it easy when, when you can just make it complicated? There we go, that's fine. Everything's fine in there. Wait a second, what the... Dude, what? Wait a second. <sighs> Wait 
medicine. Something is not right. Something is definitely not right about here. Uh, let me just see something. Uh, what's the height for a table? Doesn't look right. Table. height about 73 all right let's test it out Really? It crashed on me creating a box? That was fun. These <laughs> max saves. Jesus saves, and apparently Max Max does too. All right, so hey, please, the yeah, I saved. So seventy-five. Let's try seventy-five and see how what we get. Aha! So hot damn. So that means if I need to make this everything bigger. Alright, god damn it, just scale from the middle. Or scale from the base. There we go. Like this. Alright, uh, honestly, this is a very, very bad idea that I'm just doing. So when you're scaling stuff, never scale it within a group. That's gonna open up a can of problems, but I just wanna get one. And it's gonna work. All right, now I guess it's the right sized one. Uh, Alright, let me just go ahead and uh, ungroup everything. Alright, ungroup. Ungroup. Ungroup because I do not want to have this thing go in the background and without a proper X form and now I'm gonna convert into a poly and it means that everything here is gonna be just fine so select all of these guys select uh, this all right select that one now group chair uh, one I don't miss out anything. It's gonna be the fresh. Of course, the music is too loud, Valentina. You just came in, and the first thing you said is the music is too loud. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> uh, you missed, you barely missed about three. Uh, crashes so far, so Chero 2. Mm 
Mm-hmm. I never doubted you, Valentina. You're always sulking or skulking somewhere in the background. And from time to time, you will jump ahead and give me some model to make. There we go, that's fine. Now just select that. Uh, that's actually okay. All right, so now select everything, group, table, chairs. Now for this one though, <laughs> I'm gonna get the pivot right. Snap it down at the bottom. All right, and de-isolate. All right, much better. Now save, ah, damn it saving on the recovery file. I don't want to save on the recovery, I just want to save on my file, the number three file. All right, so let's find Twitch, cafe style, low chair, high chair, cafe scene number three, yes, I want to replace it. Did you work in the ArcVis previously? I did. Right, make two more. Yeah, let's make them instances. Actually, now I don't need the small ones. Sam Maloof Rocker Lounge. What the hell is that? You people know that there is an actual place where you can leave your ideas, right? You just come in here and that's where you, pl uh, you place all your stuff. And what is this? Not much. We are going to use the shelf. Uh, you would like to add this is the right place for it. Ah, whatever. Is this it? To the... What? Whatever. I'll fix it later. Thanks. Uh, okay. If anybody has got any models that you want to share for us to make, drop them over here in the streaming related uh, channel and I'll see about it. What is your opinion on the archivist scene in your country? And huh. my opinion, I don't have one. Archivist is not a very country uh, dependent thing. You get out uh, on the internet and you're basically global different countries have different uh, requirements though it's kind of interesting make my lamp what lamp what is your lamp where is your lamp all right so uh -huh. What lamp are you talking about, Valentina? What did you put? What did you place? Where? Where's your lamp? You guys are posting a lot of stuff, so yeah. If I see something here, there's a good chance it's gonna be made. If I don't see anything over there, nothing's getting made. So now with the bigger tables, a bit of a problem, a spacing problem. It's gonna have to move some stuff around. This means the DJ booth is out of the way. You don't have to make a DJ booth anymore. Because there is no more space for the DJ. So I'm sorry, DJ. 
All right, that's okay. Nope, this one's gonna stay like this. Here, I'm thinking about something that's gonna break up this uh, color, probably something like plants or some stuff like that. We'll see. No, it's not. You can enter over here, pass by these guys, knock on their chair while they're sitting down, you know, damn it. It's gonna suck. All right, so fine. Just do like that. All right, there we go. Hmm. Let's see, maybe like this. I have to find what the hell do I do with this uh, thing. Because over here, I want to put in some of those uh, <sighs> tables here. So it's going to sit in there. The gold and outside dark color. Yeah, whatever. We'll see. Oh, make your lamp. All right. So what is this? Yeah, yeah. This is the kind of lamp you design when you're very, very high on acid. And you start seeing a lot of weird shapes. And you go like, hey, look, this is a lamp. And apparently it's a lamp. You know that I would definitely need some more pictures of, as to how this thing was made. I have to deal with this thing. The placement for this is a bit tricky. But it's fine. All right, it's gonna save this. All right, let me just go ahead, do something else. Uh, before I do that, what I'm gonna do is, cafe, shop, coffee shop. gonna work so what I'm gonna do is take mm -hmm. Which folder ideas cafe shop logo all right let's do this All right, people, we need a name for a cafe. I need you all to dig deep. Give me some nice name for cafe shop. We got our logo, more or less. I just need a goddamn name. Let's end it up with a new one. It's going to be a thousand. A thousand. Mm 
Dennis's Cafe. No, 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 hell no. That sounds like a very bad place to go. The YouTube delight, come on. Tagline company. All right. All right, I want to need, I need, I need a name, a name, a name. We need a name. All right, so we need as a name. Let's go in with something like. Stoner's Cafe Hub. <laughs> oh, the steaming mug. Steaming mug. That's a good one. All right, damn it. All right, steaming mug is okay. it up to 30 no go bigger 60 steaming mug and underneath we're gonna go with ah uh, let's just use a different font this one is looks like it's made out of I suck at having some proper fonts Need a clean one. What is this? No. Steaming mug. Kind of looks clean. Let's see with. There we go. Steaming mug. One over here. One over there. That's cool. And now underneath. EST. Established. On YouTube. Get this thing to be a lot smaller now. 30. It's fine. All right. Let's drop it up with another color. This one color is fine. That's okay. Underneath. That's fine. Mm hmm. One option. Outer. No. I want to get the inner one. Strokes. It's fine. Inner is okay. Let's see if I put anything on the blending mode for this thing and drop a shadow is gonna look that's okay with this one stroke no nope. definitely not a stroke no bevel what if we drop a shadow shadows gonna be me not bad and these two uh, nope I just go ahead and copy the layer style paste the layer style here Amy Mug, established. Let's see if I paste the layer here. Established on YouTube, YouTube. And eh, not bad. So the only thing that I would probably want to do is for the side, I just want to have this uh, very uh, bland color. 
So for this, just go in here like this, drop, and somehow, I'm not sure how exactly, but this thing just turned into creating a logo. All right, let's go with something like this. Take this, drop it over here. I know it's a rug, but disregard the rug. Put it up here underneath. There we go. I'm blending mode, different one. There's gotta be something interesting we can do with this shape. A uh, hell no. Still looks like something I'm not happy with. Let's try with something else. Huh. All right. Let's try with this. Weird, but it might work. It's going to give me some breakage in this thing so under well, actually go stay up here change to dissolve hello opacity 20 no opacity 40 50 okay fill 50 no fill is fine What the hell did I just do? Okay, 100. And do this. All right. Inverse selection. What? Right, why is this thing still a rasterized layer? Yo, delete that. That's fine. Steaming mug is fine and it's okay. Crease. Steaming mug. Not bad, not bad. I can live with this. Yeah, this asphalt is killing me, this thing. So let's try with 30. Now, 50. Just do this then, play with the curves a bit. I go slowly getting there. All right, so now this is one. Play with this curve. No, hell no. All right, you. font color you know what for now i'm just gonna save it as it is as the work file and later on i can play around with this uh, cafe style go with uh, cafe logo although i'm gonna say it right away i'm open to suggestions if you guys have a suggestion or maybe you have something that you've made i'll be glad to use yours if it's cool so feel free and uh share it so let me go via png file cafe logo png all right all right and also at the same time let's everything down Instead of that color, just give me a nice 
guys. Black. Black and white. The fudge is that? This one is going to be JPEG for Cafe Logo Mask. All right. Now, for this one, I want to have a plane. Just create that plane. What the hell is this? All right, so all right, a problem for some reason, it's not showing me whatever I'm making. Let's go like this. All right. Now it's showing me. Weird. So I go again 100 by 100. Uh, center to center. All right. That thing is in there. Go in, open up our texture. We just create it. Go to our Twitch, cafe style, cafe logo. Drop it in. What? What's with the, what? Dude, what the? F All right, let's just do this. Uh, select this thing as it is. Crop it. Now I know there's nothing else. So save it again as the same exact PNG file. Replace it. I'm happy with it exactly as it is. Don't do anything else to it. Now, resave this thing as well. As JPEG, cafe mask. Yep, yep, that's what I want. Exactly what I want. What the? This makes no sense. This is the actual mask and wait, what? Doesn't matter, it's not the angle, it's where the hell are these black lines coming from? I can rotate the thing, it's not a problem. It's 19, it's gonna be fixed, but. Why the hell is it? Anybody got, got any ideas as to what the hell this thing is happening? Oh, wait a second. I think I know why this thing is happening. Uh, is it possible that this thing has... 
Nope, it has nothing. All right, let's do the other thing since we already have a uh, mask. I'm gonna use a JPEG. Let's see if that's gonna fix it. I've actually had this problem uh, happen before. So it's a PNG, but instead of, yeah, there we go. Now it's fixed. The PNGs sometimes can uh, like keep some weird information into the alpha. So yeah. So minus 90 is fine. Just drop down uh, map in our opacity. The mask in here, boom. The opacity is gonna be flipped. So invert. Where's my oh, output invert? Seriously. <sighs> all right, all right, okay, it's not a problem. As always, just go in here, just flip it around. Because why else this thing would want to work? Damn it. All right, so make this thing white make this thing black here here there we go this is normal so how the mask should look everything is white it's gonna be mask you want to replace it yes i want to replace it thank you very much i'm very happy with how this thing looks uh, the Seriously. What the actual... Why is this thing... Oh, of course, this thing is rotated minus 90. Damn it, I forgot that thing. All right, not a big problem. So we go in here, rotate this thing minus 90, and that should work. Hey, at least we got our sticker done. So I'm gonna put this thing for now over here as well. Get out of the goddamn glass, damn it. All right, so I'm gonna have to do something about this front here. Uh, but for now, I still have a placeholder in here, but we got our uh, steaming mug cafe logo on. We're gonna have to do something about the actual uh, window here. I have to have some, some sort of a backdrop over here to make it more interesting. We, we're gonna need another seating arrangement for this thing. But all in all, we actually did make some headway on this uh, design this week. So I'm happy with it. Oh, we still haven't even gotten to the place where we actually start putting in lights. But for now, that's fine, that's okay. And in here, what I'm gonna do is, since I don't have that much time left what I'm gonna do is take uh, this thing select it over here move it down Let's 
is fine. Select all of it. Make it smaller, like 75%. There we go. That's fine over there. a bit more to work with. Do the same thing on this side. There we go. I'm happy with how this thing looks. And around it on the low side is actually something like a guardrail. So I'm gonna have to find a way to make something like that for our scene as well but all in all slowly starting to come together all right uh what is this where did you get that white plaster texture this one i made it all right that thing is fine now this is what i'm gonna have to do for our next stream. We're gonna have to find what we wanna do for this wall. We're probably gonna have to put something interesting to break up uh, the uniformity of this whole thing. Like, for example, if I take a look at uh, this place, uh, what they've done is they have this place over here and ho and behold, they actually have a bike. And then they have this, again, nice uh, addition with the uh, wood, wooden panels. Oh, good people in great. Oh, okay, this is what we will be doing. We're gonna put in some, uh, some more textures like this one. So I'm gonna actually need some reclaimed wood. Something like this. What was this? Toilet. Men to the left because women are always right. Okay. Hey, what is this? Caffeine. As a central nervous system, the new end of the methylaxin class, it is the world's most widely consumed psychoactive drug. Unlike many other psychoactive... Okay, I don't want to talk about drugs on YouTube, but yeah. Women are always right. Eh. I prefer to have those bathrooms where for the men's bathroom they have a blah and for a woman they have blah 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 blah. Alright, that's fine. Okay, so they have some good ideas start with coffee. Alright, so for next stream we need to have some coffees, man. Alright, so Hello, that's an interesting addition for the lighting. I know these lights, I cover them in the lighting course. Hell, these are fun lights. Yeah, well, definitely next stream we're gonna cover uh, something like this for the seating arrangements. We're gonna see what we're gonna do for uh, these sorts of tables, but yeah. Can we have pebbles for the flooring? Hell no. Why would you want pebbles in a, in a cafe? I hate pebbles when I go to the beach. And I would definitely not be playing around with pebbles uh, when I go for a cafe shop. But yeah. That's fine. All right. Well, anyways. We got some headway done over here. Uh, next time around, we're gonna have to deal with this placeholder. We're definitely gonna need to deal with this entire seating arrangement here. And then we're gonna have to start dealing with how to fill in this uh, rest of the place, as well as add in some lighting and finish up the central part, which is gonna be this uh, bar over here. 
So if you guys have any ideas or you would like to see anything else made, like always, just come in over here, drop the... All right, what is this? Sam Maloof Rocker. Well, why would you put this thing in a cafe shop? This would be an awful idea. And uh, design area. So what are your weekend's plans? All right. What are my weekend's plans? I don't, I have no plans. All right. So, like I say, uh, like I said, we are almost out of time. Well, actually, we are out of time. Hell, we got three more minutes left, but we're not making anything in three minutes. So, if you guys have anything that you would like to see uh, added to this stream for next week, drop it in here. I'll take that thing. I'll take that thing into consideration, and we'll start from there and see where this thing goes. So, for now, that would be it. I would like to thank everybody that was with me. You guys have some great uh, ideas. We did actually uh, make a nice headway. We created some nice cool ideas. We got our uh, logo for the steaming mug. And generally, it was a very fun uh, stream for me. I hope you guys had some fun as well. Hopefully, you learned some new tricks. And that's about it for today. And as I always say, thank you very much for watching and peace.